look where you and your selfish ambitions have gotten us. It's never been worse. You go to work, 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 come back without even noticing me or that ignorant kid of yours. You only think about yourself. I only think about myself. It's me again. You self-centered bitch. You're the one complaining all the time, but when that kid freaks out, who's supposed to take care of it, huh? Besides, it's not my child. Wasn't it ours? Our little savior of a love we never had. A fucking- Yeah, there is no us anymore, darling. Ever since she was born, you've neglected your part in raising her. I think about all I ever dreamed of because of our decision. We both should have made compromises, but the only one who did was me. Oh, there you go again. You feel awfully sorry for yourself. Why don't you take a look at my side of the story oh, for oh, once? Yes, yeah, sure. Your side. Well, excuse the fuck out of me for being in your way. A child you never wanted, living in a smaller house than you never dreamed of, and all the while I'm getting old and ugly, right? You must really long for somebody young and fresh, or are these needs already blue? Enough! Don't you dare accuse me of being unfaithful. That's how you reward my loyalty. I can't believe I once fell in love oh, with a... Oh, neither can I, you bastard. Neither can I. And loyal. I didn't know you were familiar with that word. There's a lot you don't know. A lot you'll never understand. We've lost contact, baby. <sighs> yeah. Oh, really? Well, that doesn't seem to bother you. Why don't you just go on? Go, go. Drift off away on that little island of yours and don't forget to drown on your way to a better life. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'd rather drown than be locked up with such a freaked up bitch and a freaky daughter. I can't believe we're still holding on a conversation about something so stupid. Fine. Go. Just go. Drown. I hope it'll be slow and painful. Shut your fucking hole. <laughs>